In this video, we're going to have a look at a type of transformation called rotation. A rotation turns a figure about a set point called the center of rotation. The size or the shape of the figure does not change. Rotation requires a known center of rotation, a direction of rotation being clockwise or anticlockwise, and the angle of rotation. Rotations can be shown on special graph paper called polar or circular graph paper. In this video, I will just demonstrate rotation on square grid. If A is the center of rotation and the figure ABCD is rotated 90 degrees clockwise, every point will move 90 degrees. A is the fixed point, so it's easy to see with my cutout that when I rotate the shape 90 degrees clockwise, where it will finish. But let's say we didn't have this cut shape. It's sometimes helpful to draw lines at 90 degrees about point A to do this. So using point A as our fixed point, Starting with B, if I rotate B 90 degrees clockwise, I can see that it will come down and form on this line. It needs to be the same distance from A, 1, 2, 3, 4, in the new image, 1, 2, 3, 4. So B dash will be located here. Now let's do C next and come back to D. C, rotating at 90 degrees clockwise, will be up on this line. It needs to be the same distance from A, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, so I can see C dash is going to be located in this point. Now D, I need to draw lines at 90 degrees to point A from D. So now my cross and I have now 90 degree cross going through point D. I can now see that D is going to come to this line. That's a little bit hard to measure the distance on the diagonal. So what we can do is count across and down. D was one, two, three, four across and three down. And now it's going to change to be three across in the other direction and four down. So D dash will be located in this point. Now we can connect all the vertices of our new image and our fixed point A we can also label as A dash. Sometimes the center of rotation is not the vertex of a figure. For example, if figure O in this diagram is the center of rotation and the figure is rotated 90 degrees clockwise, we again can use lines uh, to help us with this starting with OA. But what I've done is I've pre-cut this to show you before we go into the lines. This is like taking this whole diagram and using O as our fixed point, rotating 90 degrees clockwise. And we can see where the shape will finish. So our fixed point is now O. So let's now try and draw lines. Okay, starting with A, I'm going to go from an interval from O to A, and then I have to draw it 90 degrees. Now, if you've got a protractor, that might be an easy way. Otherwise, you can count. I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up and 2 across. So going back to this, we can see it's going to be the opposite. It's now going to be 5 across and 2 down, and this new point will be A dash. You can see here I have 90 degrees. So A dash will be located in this point. Let's do it for B. B, the interval OB being here, and now I need to make 90 degrees. Again, if you had a protractor or a compass, you could make a right angle, but instead I'll count. I went one, two, three, four, five up, and this time one, two, three, four, five, six down. So we know it's going to be on the same line here, which was two, three, four, five, six. Here's our point 
B dash, and you can see it makes a right angle. And we can continue to do that for each point, and you will then find rotating about point O, we have C dash and D dash. Once we've got all our individual vertices, we can connect them to find the new image that has been rotated 90 degrees clockwise about point O.